All right, so here goes a walkthrough of the Fujitsu's BIOS. I'll go ahead and turn it on. And then there's that beautiful logo, and hit F2, and that pulls us straight into the BIOS. I did not mean to say load previous values. So the. Oops, let me go back a little bit. I apologize for the creaky chair. Um, so this looks pretty similar, you know, so system info. It's, you know, just this kind of standard stuff. Same with uh, language, date, and time. But this is, is pretty good, right? So we got lots going on here. This is going to be a little bit difficult to do with one hand, but whatever. CPU config, lots of settings. SATA config, lots of settings that, you know, it's, don't know why I would use most of them, but... Hey, if you want every single one to be an eSATA port, go for it. Some USB config, that's pretty standard. Same with USB security, we can control the ports. Uh, some acoustic configuration, not really relevant here because I'm only running a, a SSD and an optical drive that I won't use. Some monitoring, I don't know what this means. I assume this means it gets exposed to the OS to some extent, but I don't know. Onboard device, you know, it doesn't have an HDMI port, so I would assume that's for audio over display port. I, I don't really know. Um, this is neat. I haven't actually plugged this into Ethernet yet to test. Um, I've only been using it on Wi-Fi. Um, but yeah, BIOS update over the internet. I've used this on um, like gamer type motherboards, but never seen this on um, this sort of machine. Smart settings, blah, blah. This is pretty standard stuff there. Um, it does have AMT, but I haven't played with it yet. So that's kind of cool. Um, Hmm. Don't know what that is. Built-in self-test for Hasbell graphics, I guess. AMT, there it is. It's all this I haven't really touched. Graphics config, that's all. We haven't touched it and don't have a GPU in here. Network stack, I guess that's for um, UEFI network booting. Um, blink LEDs. Oh, that's cool. Not really useful on a single. Let's see. Let's let's blink blink the LEDs. Is it blinking? Let's look. Ugh. It does not appear to be blinking. Let's try it again. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe that requires a cable to be connected. Oh, mm -mm -mm. <sighs> some security settings, nothing too fun or different. Let's see. I think, um, one, so apparently a lot of Fujitsu keyboards have power buttons on the keyboard and somewhere in here. There was an option for using uh, I like that minor severity, informational severity, memory size change, log area reset, blah blah blah. Oops. I may be misremembering. Boot options. I've got a lot of stuff disabled here. But, yeah. Just thought that was a pretty comprehensive BIOS. Love that Fujitsu logo.